Hi, I'm Barry Hyman. I'm a professor in the Information Systems uh, program. Uh, it's my 13th year here. Um, our program, uh, for a senior year, we have our students work with nonprofit organizations in the community, and they go into that organization, they interview the client, they get to know the clients, uh, understand the clients' business processes, and then try to build software that really meets their needs uh, and that really solves a particular problem they have. senior project. I worked with Pucks, Pittsburgh Urban Christian School, and uh, Pucks is a little different than most private schools in the area because they charge a third of the tuition that other schools charge, and um, it's a an racial and e racially and economically diverse school. So what we did for them in order for them to compete with other really expensive schools is provide um, a back-end portal for their parents, administrators, and teachers. Target Food Tracker um, was the application we worked on this semester with our 475 team. And the, the goal was to bring accurate nutritional information for all the food that's made and served on campus to the campus community. And so we built a web application to do that. Um, right now we have our, our web applications on a test server. Um, and so you can go on and then um, when you, you get to the home page and it's sort of a map, you get a map of campus that we got from Google Maps. And so there are little markers for each building, so you can click on that and see what restaurants are open or closed. And then from there, you can either click, you can click on a restaurant and see the menu, and then from there you can go even further and click on a food, and you, it takes you to a page where you see the nutritional label. So that um, essentially gives you the information you want. Um, once you have an account, you can actually track the foods you're eating too. So in case you want to um, keep track of your own personal intake in addition to seeing what the data is, um, that hopefully that'll help students eat healthier on campus. The senior project was on um, helping United Way of LE find a centralized data collection system for after school organizations. Before they actually jumped into developing it, they um, wanted us to do the investigation which uh, vendor products out there with, will fit their purposes the best. We started, uh, came up with more than 15 vendors and we cut them down to four final vendors according to uh, usability, functionality, and feasibility to United Ways. We worked on uh, the RODAS project for uh, CMUIS. Uh, Road SMs for uh, road damage assessment. Take a photo of a pothole either with your Android phone and upload it directly to the site using your GPS location to tag where the pothole is. Or, like at home, you can take an image of a pothole that you've already taken on your camera, and when you upload it, it extracts the GPS information from the photo and figures out where you took the picture and maps where the pothole is. So, this means that uh, anyone with a, a smartphone, like an iPhone or it's from the more popular Android phones, uh, when they're walking on the sidewalk and uh, see a pothole and uh, very, very quickly report it to the websites. It's useful to uh, city planners. Basically, our project took Kenya's vision for 2030 um, and tried to analyze and see if a lot of the things were realistic within it. Really what we did was say take um, a lot of ecological things as well as G growth, um, healthcare quality, and a number of other things, and really tied them together to see if this increases, what will happen to this. So an example would be if forest land was able to be conserved, would we be able to sustain a population growth of three or four percent or something. Really the outcome that we saw was that there was a lot of things that could be worked on in the vision. Hi, I'm Garrett Young. I'm Ryan Sanders. And uh, we're the Steel Nerds. Uh, so our team this year uh, got to work with the Best of the Batch Foundation, which is uh, backup quarterback Charlie Batch's uh, foundation based here at Homestead. I'm uh, Sandeep Patel. I'm on the team that's doing the project for Social Hotspots Database. Um, the client that we're working for is a New Earth organization who uh, does a lot of work about improving transparency on sustainability or social issues. 
well, for our project itself, what we've been doing is talking about um, what areas around the world have like social issues and giving them like a risk of how high uh, any issue would be. So, for example, if there was a um, for the issue of child labor, we would talk about areas where they collect data on areas where there's a low risk or high risk, and they would do this for every single country in the world. And so they had this huge database, but they needed to like know um, they needed a way to display it. And so what we provided was a tool that would provide maps, uh, maps for this data, and also graphs and charts so people could actually see the data itself. It came to us to with the idea of showing social issues. So what we did is we have a map of every country in the world, and it's color coded based on the each color corresponds to an issue. So green is a low risk, whereas a red color is a high risk, and you can switch through the issues through these drop down menus. So maybe we can check out human rights, um, and maybe something like children out of school.